Given everything that we know about this guy, this is completely out of character. Well, sometimes people do inexplicable things. There's an explanation for everything. Is there? You volunteered to take Eldon's shift. Don't pretend. If you aren't ready, why not just tell me? I'm sorry, Castle. I didn't mean you to. You didn't mean to what? Christmas means something different to me than it does to you. It's Christmas. I mean, how can it be different? <sighs> Castle, every winter, as soon as that chill rolls in, I'm right back there in that alley. January 9th, and we still haven't taken our Christmas decorations down. And by the time my dad and I did, it was like we were putting Christmas away forever. We haven't opened those boxes since. I didn't know. That's why every year my dad goes up to his cabin. And ever since I became a rookie, I have taken the Christmas shift. Because I know that there are families out there that are celebrating together in their homes, and I am keeping watch. And that is my tradition. And that is important to me. It's as important as your tradition is to you. And I'm sorry, Castle. I thought I could let that go, but I... I understand. Catch case? Yeah. Actually, it was this one. Someone blew up an apartment downtown. Seriously? And you didn't call me? Castle, you said you had a chapter due. Yes, which is right to speak for all procrastinations. Welcome. So what was it? A terrorist plot? A meth lab? Um, the canvas turned up a description of a guy fleeing the scene in a silver hatchback and... We called in for traffic cam footage, which is probably already in, so I gotta get going. Or you could have Esposito check that out. He's very good at it. I feel like I haven't seen you in days. You know, I really do have to get going, but... But you're powerless to resist me. You always have been. And there you go. What is this? Well, it's just me not taking you for granted. So what did you talk about there, you and Vaughn? Oh, we were just going over the investigation, talking out the next few... Wait a minute, is this, are you, is this you being jealous? <laughs> jealous? Yes, the guy won a MacArthur Genius Award. Do you know who they give those awards to? Geniuses. Okay, he's got one company bringing clean water to Africa and another one that might actually cure cancer. So yes, when you're in a room with him alone, I'm a little jealous. I saw, I saw how you looked at it. Oh my gosh, Castle, it's Eric Vaughn. He was voted one of the hundred most interesting people on the planet. Of course, I'm gonna swoon a little, just like you would if Bar Raffaele walked through the door, but it's meaningless. Yeah, you're right, it's just, guy's so impressive. But he's not you. Check in with you. You know, it must be weird for you being back here at the precinct working a case. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Especially since McCord's little gag order prevents you from accessing your most effective investigative tool. Me. Yeah, you are a tool, all right? So, uh, she's not here right now, so what's the harm in giving me a little tidbit? This is a bribe. Castle. You're bribing me with a latte? No, I am not. Come on, don't be ridiculous. This is low, even for you. Look, I can solve this. I just need a little more to go on. Castle, you're not going to castle me on this one. You collapsed the phone. So I called Will's place to pull security cam footage from the hallway again. And all the files have been erased. The doorman swears that no one has been in the security room since NYPD left the crime scene. No one or someone he couldn't see? 